There we go. Okay. Boom. All right. We're doing confessions now. Who here has not seen this bit before? Because if you haven't seen it before, I want to explain it. I want to get into it. Um, and all that jazz. Me? Okay. A couple people. So Synfessions, uh, you'll notice there's a link in chat, retrospring.net slash at ribscarecrow. You can post things there anonymously. And we're reading cringe stories from y'all's childhood or just like other moments. Um, right now it says there's 41 in my inbox. Um, we're going for like funny stories. We're not going for like actual like trauma. We're going for like weird shit you did as a kid. You know? Let me go ahead and scroll all the way down to the oldest one. And then I can actually get it in. Some of these are a few weeks old, but we're, we're working through it. Okay. That's a, that's one to, to start with. All right. I do want to do the thing that I did last time, uh, where I just point out some phone numbers that you can call and that kind of thing. Um, cause I am not, oh, I missed a nice, nice. Um, I'm not a licensed therapist. I'm not a, uh, a guy who knows things. Please, uh, like, I mean, okay, I guess I am a licensed therapist, but like, I'm not your therapist. So like, you need to like, go find someone who actually is like, there we go. Now it's working. All right. So here's some uh, phone numbers you can call. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm a. I have a. An associate's in psychology. It would be a bachelor's, but uh, UT kicked me out for having too many credits for some reason. Uh, more likely, they kicked me out because I kept pointing out that they were being really racist. Um, but anyway, numbers up here. These are the, the things you should be calling if you've got some serious trauma going on. Like, um, call them. Don't, like, confess on an online, like, jokey thing about serious, awful things that are happening to you. I can't help you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that's the case. Um, so, I'm sorry. But this is like what I can do to help you and tell you to go to get some resources you need. If you think you need therapy, get therapy. There's no fucking shame in it, okay? The world's a hard place right now and that's why we do these funny little bits. But, you know, that's not gonna be your be all end all. So go go to therapy. I go to therapy and like I had my meeting today and it was good. Anyway, enough of the serious stuff. Now we're getting into the jokey fun stuff. Just wanted to say that right off the dat bat. Is my voice doing robots now? No? Okay. Alright, let's get rid of that then. Oh, you're running two streams. Oh, okay, you don't have to do that. That I don't think that does anything. So you sound like a robot on purpose. Okay. My partner I live with recently confessed to me that they pee in the shower. I said it was disgusting, but then I tried it soon after i was just curious because they made it out to seem so amazing i don't get it am i nasty okay um like if y'all are cleaning the tub i think it's fine but like just pee before you go in i'm gonna move this down just a bit so that way it's like not cutting off my face people piss in the shower yeah Why would I not pee in the shower? My old partner would do that and then she would tell me to run the water after. What? It just seems like it would be harder to do with the, the girly downstairs mix up. Girl default settings. Like. <sighs> waffle stompings where it's at. Y'all. Okay, so to answer your question, yes, but a lot of people do it.
Whenever I play uh, Splatoon, I become disgustingly, horrifically toxic. I don't even play ranked. I just get really rude and hostile when I play Turf War. It's the only time I ever get like this in any game ever. You might want to question why you're like that. Um, yeah, Sin. Okay, so this next one is actually really heavy, so I'm actually going to skip it for the reason that I was just saying, like, with those links. I, I don't want to become a resource where people, like, message me really heavy stuff, and I can't, I can't help. Because uh, that's just damaging to you. So I'm going to skip it, and I'm going to skip any of the other heavy ones um, for that reason. Uh, because if I... Keep reading ones where it's really heavy. A, no one's having a good time. And B, um, makes you, makes you, you know. Oh yeah, the music's gone. Yeah, I should probably. Thank you. Uh, it, it, it it's not helping you. You know, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I apologize. Uh... I don't even understand this one, so I don't know as if this is like... I was best man for my friend's, uh, best friends... For my best friend years ago. I met his friend group, who were his groomsmen. We got along for a while. Years later, COVID displaced me to Florida with my parents, and they teased me on Discord server for being a dirty flatlander. I don't know what that means. Uh, the Discord server has no rules, and I deleted everything. I'm still best friends with the groom. What? What does this mean? Florida? Yeah, I don't know what you're telling me. So sin for not explaining shit. Years ago, I was famous for drawing My Little Pony porn. I hated every fucking second of it and completely nuked every account eventually. I just hope nobody who knew me then ever knows me now. I, I hate to say it, but like you, um, you dug this grave for yourself, man. Like, I don't, you don't just accidentally become famous for drawing My Little Pony porn. Like you have to have drawn it in the first place. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> Sin? Not forced to do it, but may as well make money. Yeah, I mean, I guess. N Not a sin? What do you mean? Sin. Cringe. But good. I guess. I've spent at least $20,000 on furry artwork porn and not porn since I found the community. When did you find the community? Like $20,000. What a, what a fucking thing. I mean, IT wor worker moment. Yeah, that's, yeah, I don't. I mean, yeah, I guess that's it's it's base that you paid. That's great. You're a base patron of the arts, I guess. E. Sin. I bought Skyrim on sale because I kept hearing about it, and some guy I talked to online was telling me I should play it. I played one hour, got bored. Since then, I realized the guy's an asshole and I no longer talk to him. This resulted in me having a visceral rage whenever I see Skyrim anywhere, so I removed it from my desktop and later uninstalled it while I was cleaning my storage. Okay. You learned the truth. Skyrim sucks ass. 
fourth grade, I was obsessed with pins and mechanical pencils, taking them apart, putting them together, everything. One of my favorite activities was making the lead go real far. Like to pretend that to give other kids shots with this. So like you'd click it out a bunch. And you'd be like, Boop. time for a shot. Bop. Okay. It was fun until I found a sharp object in the classroom to do this with and I got told on. I had to sit out for playtime and was so mad I didn't uh, get what I had done wrong. I'm now wondering if I'm, uh, as an adult, wondering how I never got tested for autism because I gotta love public school in the USA. Um, based for stabbing people. Not a sin. Uh, when I was 14, I would dated someone who would not shut the fuck up about Homestuck. I like Homestuck too, but I was filled with a visceral rage whenever they talked about it because they were obsessed with Kenkri. For some reason, I developed a hatred for his stupid fucking face. I think they said they were related to Kenkri, and thinking about it now, it explains a lot about what went wrong. Which one? Oh, that one. Yeah, man. Man. That's the one? Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's probably a red flag. Uh, based on your part. Uh, when I was around nine or 10, I was friends with a boy and invited him over to my house to play. He wanted to see my drawings, so to impress him, I drew him my most secret drawing, a crude image of two dragons mating that looked more like worms. For some reason around that age, I also like to look up videos of animals mating on YouTube. Once my grandmother walked in on me and saw me hastily close one of the videos, I lied and said it was video game cheats. It was a weird kid. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> um, Sin, I guess. Dude, check this out. Draws two dragons fucking. <laughs> and later they went on to get $20,000 in furry commissions. I was the class snitch. Cringe. Call me cringe if you want. I had your phone out in class. I'd tell the teacher because I knew you were going to complain about the test later. Talking in class, I'd tell the teacher because... You shits aren't quiet and I need to focus. Okay, that's kind of based. Uh, five minutes before the bell, the entire class would leave except for me. And I'd tell the teacher, you're letting them do this? You're gonna keep doing this. They'll keep doing this. And then he'd write them all up for detention. I leave at the bell and arrive before the next one. Um, Sin and cringe. Yeah. Don't be a narc. A continuation for, for the mini girl tier list. This isn't a smash or pass. Those are people who, that I would ask out like a normal person. If they turned me down, I'd go my own way. No arguments. What are we talking about? And counterpoint for Princess Celestia and Rouge. I don't remember this context at all. They're drawn like that. I'm not attracted to horses or bats. I do not get boners looking at horses or rats or any animal. Whatsoever, animals are animals. Anthro are completely different. If they don't pass the Harkness test, I don't want none. Okay. I had a cringe thought, but I can uh, one up when your semi reoccurring discussion of getting blowjobs by xenomorphs. No, what? No, just like when chat asked me about aliens, I'll bring it up. by saying that the electric eel Pokemon Electros would be better at sucking. Okay. On behalf of everyone who sent conventions more or confessions more concerning than funny, I'm sorry, Father, I have sinny sinny sinned. Can we be forgiven? Of course. Yeah, I don't... 
when I when I like read those, I'm I just feel bad because I can't help you. So like you're good, don't worry about it. But I'm just not gonna help you because the best way I can help you is by not, you know. Like you being forced to take that energy and go to like an appropriate person, like a um, you know, uh, uh any of these people, like this stuff. These are the people that can actually help you. I, I unfortunately am unable to do so. And therapy can help you. But I am a fucking idiot on the internet. And I'm not the correct person to ask for help from. So don't, don't worry about it. I, I'm honestly just deleting the bad ones. Just so that way we can force people to get help in appropriate areas. It's the leech one. Yeah. You may immediately dismiss this as fake, but in 1998, I helped work on a really cringeworthy radio ad that I still regret to this day. This is it. One of my former co-workers uploaded it to YouTube a long time ago. All right. This is a song about corn nuts, an intensely crunchy snack. It's not about anything else. Oh, I remember this. Corn nuts, an intensely crunchy corn snack, comes in seven nut busting flavors. Um, yeah, you're right. I don't believe you. Good song, though. Good song, though. But I don't, I, I, okay, if you were to work on that, let's say you were 18 when that happened. Like, but math, 1998 minus 18, you were born in 1980? Yeah, Abby is being a baby. <sighs> Once when I was young, like 10 or so, 10 or 11, I had a bunch of discarded bamboo sticks on the school grounds. We are a rural school with a small force nearby, so I took them and held a fencing. Music? fencing class for other uh, children in exchange for rocks and pine cones. I had not considered the fact that demonstratingly pro uh, demonstrating properly should not be done at full force and quickly lost all of my students. So what you're saying is you offered to teach people how to sword fight by beating the fuck out of kids. And you were paid in rocks and pine cones. That sounds very real, actually. Uh, based and funny. I'm turning 28 soon. Never had a date. Okay, this is a sad one. I'm sorry. Good luck with that, though. Okay. While living with my abusive and... Xylophobe? What the fuck is that word? I've never heard of this. Fear or dislike of customs and dress. Culturally different from oneself. XYZ phobic, the music. Sorry. 
Okay, so they're phobic. Something or other phobic. Just general bigot. I had not heard that thing. General purpose bigot. Okay, I hadn't seen that term before. My dad and stepmom, uh, years back, I ran a couple hundred dollars water bill on accident, successfully blamed it on my stepsister because she knew, I knew she'd get in less trouble than me. And I also let the dog lick their butter, which I then smooth out to make look normal again. They never seemed to notice and they were financially in the clear with the water bill, but it still pissed them off, obviously. No regrets about it here. Dog liked the garlic butter the best. How's the gar garlic butter relevant? The dog was allowed to lick the butter. Garlic is bad for doggies? I mean, okay, so that being said, what are the chances the garlic butter that they were like eating was actually garlic butter? You know, like it says it's garlic, but it's just like, I don't know, crushed beetle ass or something. Um, don't, don't, don't give dogs garlic. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Yeah, it's like my, my parents are massive pieces of shit. So therefore I let the dog eat their butter. Hi, I'm the individual who posted about a teenager and adult toys. Not sure how soon you'll see this after the other one, but I haven't seen it on After Hours yet, and I thought chat would like the update. So this was the um, the parent that had adult toys, and um, they found that they had been stolen by their teenager, and so they burned them somehow, and um, no one talked about it. Uh, Smokey, you think for the 27 months of support. Burned the sex toys, not the teenager. Uh, the teenager talk was two days after the incident of finding the adult toys that my partner and I had. It was awkward. They are our oldest. They're in high school. Went as well as you would expect. It was awful and no one could look each other in the eyes. This is the shit you get when you have kids. Yeah. Yeah, cringe, and you know why. Like, it's not your fault, this just situation sucks. But it's still kind of funny. The teen or the parents? Who burnt? Oh, the parents burned the sex toys after finding them, because they'd used them, presumably. It's good that they had a talk. When I was a kid, I used to throw my boogers at random people in the theater. It was very specific. Every time you went to the theater, you would do that, or was this a one-off? Sin, because it's weird. When I was in kindergarten, I told the school bus driver I needed to pee before leaving, so he let me off and proceeded to whip my... And then I proceeded to whip out my five-year-old peen and piss on the grass right in front of my school. Hilarious, base, and amazing. I have a habit of drawing not safe for work. Uh, this is probably fake. I have a habit of drawing not safe for work uh, art of various VTubers, especially obscure ones. One day I saw a VTuber streaming on her debut and I liked her model, so I drew not safe work of her. Three hours after I drew it, my sister wanted to surprise me with something. She wanted to show me her VTuber model. Turns out I technically drew porn of my sister. Help me. You, um, you know this is sin. This is probably, this is definitely fake, but sin if it's real and sin if it's not. Like you would have recognized her voice. When I was 13, I was obsessed with South Park. How? I used to unironically sh ship Kaiman, Kyle and Cartman so much, I drew them together anime style on one of my school posters and it was on the wall for two to three years. This was a thing. I remember this being a thing and I remember them asking for like specifically like South Park Yaoi. And like they, they had to like 
they had like a fight they had an episode about this so like someone did this whether or not this poster did or not we don't know but they claim they did it's a weird thing to claim so i'm tempted to believe them kyle x tweak was extremely popular okay It was at the end of an all-nighter, 5.30 a.m., and I was heading home from my university campus. After I got in my car, I decided to sit for a while and pick my nose as I thought I was in private. This is a common thing for me to do in my personal slash private time, and I almost always mine and dine, so to speak. Unbeknownst to me, a girl had just parked her car a spot over for me and had witnessed me do the dirty deed. She had a very shocked expression on her mouth, was wide open. I will never forget her face. Amazing. Pick okay, like picking is like kind of gross, but yeah. You've already suffered for it. Yeah, exactly. You've already suffered from this, you know? Like. I don't know what they mean by the S word. Shit, shit, sin. Suck, suck. I graduated from high school, sin obviously, but you already been punished. Uh, I graduated high school shortly before COVID and during the pandemic crashed hard in university. My parents think that I probably, I'm probably graduating soon and I haven't had, been a student in years. I got a high paying job and didn't need a degree and I'm comfy as now. Should I tell them? No, I paid for my own school. Oh, that's like a real one. Um, yeah. Good luck, champ. I don't know what the fuck to do there. Yeah, probably you do. Uh, I have two friends, male 24 and female 22. They're engaged to each other, but I have a crush on both of them. Fuck my life. That sucks for you, man. Every time somebody close to me passes away, or I mean, I guess with that school one, you could just like, Fake a diploma and just be like, yeah, I don't want to go to the thing. Happy bisexual awareness week submitter. Yeah. Every time somebody close to me passes away or someone else was grieving that didn't actually feel sad or betrayed or anything like that. Whenever the topic of somebody's death or remembrance comes up, I kind of just wait for the moment to pass. People say that's avoidance is another form of grief, but I don't really buy that. I just don't really care about deaths. When I pass away, I don't want or expect people to care about that either. Um, okay. Okay, you should probably seek therapy because um, that's interesting. Everyone processes, well, I don't know if they're actually processing grief or not. They're just like, I think that they just don't feel sad about it. Yeah, I don't know what that is, man. A long time ago, I was forced to go into an old religious ed class in evenings, and one day the teacher told us that the building we were in was once on a ghost hunter show. Since then, me and my since me and my sister were so mad that they forced us to go, we would hide in plain plain out ghost sightings. Random slamming doors, flushing toilets by themselves morbid screaming missing items never spooked the teachers but always scared the younger kids is this a sin since it was done in an old church site sounds fucking hilarious as hell i mean it is a sin but it's also really based congrats i think about unplugging electric vehicles from their chargers every time i pass by them especially teslas why Chat says base, I say sin. 
Like, why? That's base? Why? Like, it's just they're trying to charge their car. What's wrong? I mean, fuck you for giving Elon Musk money, but I mean, like, yeah. I mean, you can think it all you want. The chargers are locked. I mean, yeah, that would be weird if they weren't. Interesting. I didn't know they were locked. Scratched my parents' car, but they didn't notice until after my brother drove it, so I blamed him. He's an asshole, so I feel no guilt. Based? When I was a kid, I ran into someone's head so hard by accident that they got stitches. Even though it was an accident, I still feel good that my head was harder than that kid's. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, in kindergarten, I brought a game manual for Lunar 2 to show and tell, and though even though none of us knew the term anime, I was labeled a cartoon nerd. Lunar 2 is a Sega CD game with anime cutscenes. I think I've played that one. Yeah, yeah. No, I played this one. I I absolutely remember this one, yeah. This is the one that has the hot scene uh, section that I forgot to save before. And um, there's like a hot spring area. I forgot to save and I was playing it out in the main, like in the living room. And my parents and my brother were there just chilling in the living room. And so I like closed the doors to the TV hutch a bit so only I could see. It was super awkward. I love that the children, even though they didn't have a term for it, were still calling you a weeb. Your, your, your kindergarten compatriots were based for that. I'm the bit of kid while playing Pokemon and got away with it anon. I have another similar story. One time I was roller skating with an eight. Why do you have another story that's the same? Stop biting people. When I was roller skating with a neighborhood friend, I lost a race to her. I threatened to hit her if she didn't stop gloating about it. So she went and told my mom. I lied my ass off about it, even though my mom seemed skeptical of my lies. And I've ever gotten trouble of it. Unlike my Pokemon story, I do feel bad about this one. But it'd be weird to apologize 15 years later. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Stop biting people. Well, he didn't act. This person didn't actually hit anyone. They just threatened to. So one time I threatened to hurt you as a child. They probably, they probably have forgotten about it at this point. I have a real habit of picking up hobbies and dropping them almost immediately. I've probably spent thousands of dollars and hours pursuing the thought of a hobby and never actually doing it or gaining any real skills. Am I a sinner or lacking commitment? The main thing is like, are you picking up like techniques that are cross compatible? Cause like, honestly, I think that's more important than picking up specific skills. You might have ADHD. Um, that's true. Like, can you use anything that you learned from doing any of these hobbies in a new thing? Yeah, I feel like, like, yeah, I, I think that maybe an ADHD thing or a depression thing, sure. When I was seven or eight years old, I would piss on my brother's bed while he was asleep in it, so he would get in trouble for pissing on his bed. What if he had woken up? Who pissed my bed? <laughs> Why would you do that? Why didn't he wake up? If I just was wet in the middle of the night, I'd be like, what the fuck? Sin. The weirdest shit. 
When I was like 15, I told my six-year-old cousin that he was adopted because he took my Xbox before my turn. Somehow he understood what that meant and he started crying. My aunt and uncle were in the same room. And he said that and lectured me over it heavily. I didn't want to hear anything, so I just ran into my room. Fucking funny as hell. You were 15 when you did this. <laughs> <laughs> ben Base to sin Absolutely <laughs> Absolutely chaotic energy Good job When I was 8 I thought kindergarten classrooms Outside walls were boring So I took crayons and doodled on the walls The teachers are furious except for my favorite teacher Who tried, tried to defend me what would really upset me is the teachers made my mother clean it, but not me. Back then, I didn't even know what was happening, but now I look back and I go, why the fuck her? Yeah, seriously. Yeah, that, I mean, kids just, I mean, you were eight, so it's a little old to do that, but that's stupid as shit. When I was five to six years old, my mom would always give me milk with my meals. After I finished my food, had milk left over, I was sitting in the living room with the typical late 90s furniture, a big tube, uh, TV, sofa, chairs, etc. Okay. Uh, I had a bright idea to pour my unwanted milk into the incandescent bulb light bulb used by the living room lamp. As soon as the milk touched it, it exploded, sending shards everywhere. I was okay, but the room smelled funny. Kind of like how something, uh, how a fire smells when water is poured on the ashes. How did you explain that? Oh shit, I did that once too. What do you mean you did that once? I was about to ask why the fuck anyone would do this. How are there two people who have done this? Why would you do that? Don't do that. One time I was around 11 or 12 years old for April Fool's Day, I decided to trick my dad into thinking that there was a virus on the computer. I used command prompt tricks to disguise an Internet Explorer icon on the desktop as a command prompt file. Then when you'd click it, it would open a command prompt that read, warning, your computer has been infected with a Trojan horse virus. Please email $500,000 or all your data will be lost. My dad got very upset and did not enjoy the prank. <laughs> you did this at 11? I don't know about that, man. Yeah, you scared your dad. I don't know what uh, sin, I guess. My first job in a few years, uh, two eat two to three weeks back it was fine standard retail hasn't been too awful yet but unfortunately i think it gave me covid despite neurotically using hand sanitizer after every transaction and that was probably my fault for not wearing a mask but in the very least i called out the day i started showing symptoms though at the time i thought it was just a migraine okay that sucks I was living with a childhood friend as roommates and he went out and signed up for the military without telling me and leaving me by myself to pay rent on an entire house with my at the time shitty cashier job. I threw out all of his shit outside and texted his girlfriend they'd better get it off the lawn. I still feel bad about that since we were best friends since second grade. Ben? Yeah, this is your friend's sin. He signed up to go murder people, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It's kind of fucked up that the government gets to murder people, but I'm not allowed to. You know? Why does the government get to murder people, but it's like fucked up and wrong when I do it?
Is that the chat fight? Is that what chat fight looks like? Oh, that's the first time it's actually loaded for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a good emote. A friend and I sprayed rancid fart spray into our roommate's car cabin air filter when we moved out. She was a really horrible person. I feel like we might have actually totaled her car. I assume you only would have done that if they were actually horrible enough to... Sin? Question mark? Depending? One of my friends in college set me up long distance with her friend from New Jersey. We had a long distance relationship for about three months. She was very manipulative and was constantly trying to put me down and start arguments. I was studying, uh, studying Carl Jung that semester and his idea of opposite possibilities in therapy helped me open my mind to being free with her and breaking up. Broke up with her and proceeded to always say the happiest day of my life was the day that we bro I broke up with her. Bait based. That's growth. That's good for you. What do you mean start a long distance relationship? What? What do you mean? Yeah, this is not a sin. This is based. Despite wanting to watch your Baldur's Gate three, uh, 3 streams, I have a friend who's way more into it than anybody else I know. I can't in good consciousness bring myself to watch anyone play it because I don't feel like anyone understands the game quite like my friend does. Sin. You should always watch me all the time, every day, all the time. No, have fun with your friend. Fuck it. I used to work at Burger King and I had a manager who was abusive and berated literally everyone. When I decided I had enough, I wanted to get back at him on the last day of work by jerking off inside of a Whopper that was meant to be sold before I left. I don't regret it. Why did you do collateral damage to some random person? Sin if real, sin if lying. For lying. When I was a kid, I would piss in the bathtub just to see the water. <laughs> sin. <laughs> Why? You've, you've completely defeated the purpose of the tub. Like you're not bathing anymore. Now you're bathing in piss. Like... Very piss-centric stream tonight. Piss is Yeah, but you're gonna smell like warmed piss. As someone who felt betrayed by J.K. Rowling's stance on trans people and being trans, I made a fan fiction of me being spit-roasted by Snape and Hagrid while Snape screens trans rights every other paragraph. Absolutely deranged situation. Deranged solution to a deranged problem. Congrats, trans rights. Based, okay, based, sure, but deranged. Why would you be spit rusted? Why not? I mean, you're gonna go down, fuck it. You and the rest of the Vine Sauce crew are literally the only good people left in this world. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Uh, due to how many terrible company and companies and people there are. I stopped finding enjoyment in anything due to not wanting to support terrible companies. I'm malnourished and miserable except for you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry, man. Um, there's a lot of shitty companies out there, you know? Um, and there's a lot of shitty people out there. Um, go outside, chatter, is what chat is saying. I get this though, man. One therapy, two Google activism fatigue. Oh, I fucking have that. Um, 
I have that fucking heart. Like, I identify with this. I get it. I really do. But I still, like, enjoy shit. It's not on you to solve everything, is what I've learned from therapy. The world may suck, but that's okay. There are good people out there, and you just hear about the bad ones more often. Try to enjoy your life as much as you can. It's the one you got. In kindergarten, a kid was being mean to me, He so he told me I had... So I told him he had monkey ears. He did have pretty big ears. We both got called to the principal's office, but he's the only one that wound up getting in trouble. Based, amazing, great. Fuck that kid. Weird-ass monkey-eared kid. Fuck him. When I was around 10, as a kid in the 1990s, we always had huge family reunions over the 4th of July. Well, being a kid, with a bunch of the kids, we'd throw firecrackers after lighting them. I had one blow up near my hand with a finger near getting the worst of it. It was bad. Down to the fat. But cauterized so no bleeding. Instead of telling my parents or anyone around me I was in shock and took a nap, it healed and my fingerprints are all fucky now. 20 years later, I've never fessed up to it. Did they just not notice? How did your parents not notice for 20 years that you'd blown off a part of your finger? fucking RPG character. He's like, oh shit, I'm hurt. Better sleep. That way it heals. <laughs> Take a long rest to heal up. One time I was a toddler and sick with the pneumonia. The pneumonia. I don't know why I said that. I punched the nurse in the boob. Um, you were a toddler and had pneumonia. That's fine. Not a sin. When I was a child, I was mean to one of my cousins, who was probably about seven or eight, by telling them to pretend to be asleep for the rest of the time they were over at my house so they'd leave me alone. I was caught pretty quickly and my parents told me that was rude, but I still feel guilty about it. No, I get it. Seven or eight year olds kind of suck. Um, this one, this next one is acting for actual advice about being an art teacher while being autistic and what they should do that they can't handle chaotic kid stuff without being high. Maybe, maybe pick a different group of people you could teach if it's going to be a problem. Like, if you have to be high to do your job, then maybe, yeah, maybe teach older students. Like, there's, like, um, there's places down here in Texas that are, like, I forget what they're called. They're, like, art and wine, and they, like, you just sort of, like, get shit-faced on wine and paint, and you paint something that, like, already exists, like a, a Monet or something, while drinking. And then at the end, you have that. Like, do that. Like, that might be healthier for you. In 2006, a friend let me borrow his copy of Pajama Stam. I still have it. Sin? You've done that here in Austin? I've thought about doing that before. When I was four, I took a dose from another kid's inhaler. Fucking, why? Sin? Hold up, hold the fucking phone. You son of a bitch, you motherfucker. Get the fuck out of my chat. Whoever you are, leave. Never come back. Tell me right now who the fuck you are so I can ban you. Sin, sin, sin. You're going to hell. 
I'm a Homestuck, but like an evolved Homestuck. I've moved on from the webcomic, but I'm very regularly class spec. I'm very regularly class spec. What? I'm very regularly class spec and use the quadrant system when talking about other series. I know it's a sin because Homestuck, but I also think it's really fun to make troll sons for canon characters. I think you're just a regular Homestuck person. Like, I don't think you're not a Homestuck anymore. You're just still a Homestuck. It's sin and cringe, but honestly, fuck it. We're all cringe. Rev, I gotta say, some days I just can't hold my filter when my coworkers talk about babies. I hate the little fuckers. They ain't cute. They ain't precious. All they do is get their germs and shit and poop themselves. If I wanted that, I'd adopt a grandparent. Um... Yeah, babies are kind of a fucking... They're... They're hard. I... I... Okay. Okay, I don't... I don't agree with this, actually. Chat is like base, 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 correct? Um... Not everyone has to take care of kids. Not everyone has to, like... Babies are a hard sell. You have to spend a whole fucking ton of money on a thing that might just die and it maybe sucks. Like, maybe it's, it grows up to be an asshole and it's your goddamn fault. Like, sucks, I get it. Yeah, I refer to a child as a thing. But I mean, I'll be honest with you, like... If you don't like kids, that's fine. Just, you know, don't have kids. Sin, I guess. Yeah, you have to like babies to do that. Or you could skip the whole baby thing entirely and just adopt like a teenager. You know, if you want to still be a parent, but you don't have to deal with the baby phase. Yeah, like, I don't know. Low-key send, though. Also, I gotta, like, refresh this thing. I love my own kid. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that's fair. The adoption system is fucked. Yeah, I know, but I'm just, I don't know, I, I, I was listening to this book. Uh, it was part of that series I was, I've been talking about, the America Falls series. And the kid, like, loses his parents in a house fire, right? And he gets adopted by this couple that just like, that's their thing is they just adopt kids. And once they get old enough to leave the nest, like they adopt another one and they just take care of kids like that, right? Um, yeah, I don't know, man. You don't have to, I mean, like there's a lot of, okay. I've said this multiple times, but I'll say it again. Life has a lot of very explicit rules about um, how you're supposed to live. You're supposed to go to school. You're supposed to be straight and cis, and you're supposed to, you know, uh, go to school, go to college for four years, get your degree, leave school, marry a girl from you know marry someone from either college or from the place that you get as a job uh and then have like approximately two and a half children um and then um raise those children and then die um if any and all of that sounds like shit don't do it You don't have to. All of that is bullshit.
I don't think we'll have more than one kid if we do that. Uh, I only have one thing to confess. I was the one who introduced the world to Brian Peppers in 2005. For people who don't know. This is the image they're referencing. Um, wrong one. There it is. He was kind of a meme for a while. Um, registered sex offender. Photo of an alleged sex offender named Brian Pepper surfaced in my office today. The picture was obtained from the Ohio sex offender website. Picture looks too gruesome to be real. Yeah. 34 year old. So I'm 35 right now for reference. Uh, who's listed in the registry for gross sexual imposition in I don't know what that means specifically, but it doesn't sound good. Um... I've never seen this dude. Yeah, I mean, like, this is like, if you're like a 90s kid on the internet, you know who this guy is. Like, you have definitely seen this picture before. Anyway, uh, I was the one who introduced the world to Brian Peppers in 2005. I found his picture on the Ohio police register and posted it on various websites, then ultimately on You're the Man Now, dog. He became an alcoholic later. I hope it's not my fault. I, um, strongly suspect that he probably would have gone that route regardless. I don't... Okay, chat, do you believe this person or not? I believe he's dead, yes. Check your Discord for DM real fast, sure. Yeah, I don't know if I believe this one, but like, someone did. Okay. I like, yeah, why do I believe this one? It's a weird thing to lie about. It's plausible. Someone had to have been the person who posted it. It's a weird claim to fame, too. And also doing it anonymously, you know? Like, why would you randomly, anonymously claim that? Yeah, I mean, like... Vine Sauce was originally, like, posted a lot on, um, 4chan. That was, like, part of what Vinny did in the beginning. It's how I found Vine Sauce, is I was looking on V one day because I used to go to V and B and X and F. Um, so the, the general board that everything had, um, uh, the, um, video games form, uh, X is like paranormal and creepypasta, and then F is like, uh, flash games and such. Um, and yeah, B is like, yeah. Why are you on 4chan? It was just like the internet back in the day, man. That's just like, where you went. I came here from DYLVG, an old competitor from, uh, Vine Sauce. It 4chan was still pretty bad back in the day. Yeah, now X nowadays is just how do I summon a succubus so she'll suck my bus? E. 4chan back in the day was a different cesspool. Yeah, it was different. It was still bad. 
I think it's very skippable. All right, well, um, Mike is starting his thing soon. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go check up my wife real quick and see if, um, okay, we'll do one more. I'll stop bringing it up after this, but I wanna stress that the 100,000, okay, so this is a person who wrote 100,000 words of a, a porn story on their phone. Um, 100,000 word dirty story coward. Whichever phone coward you were thinking of are not the same. I do not write in the phone. That said, thank you for, okay. Never mind. This was a different person. I'm dumb as shit. Sorry about that. I did it twice. Dinner is done. Okay. I'm going to go eat dinner. I'm going to see how my wife's doing. And then I may or may not be joining uh, Mike and Limes playing a game. Um, I don't know what my wife made, but it smells real good. So I'm going to go do that. I'll see you guys maybe in a minute. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. He literally just went live. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go eat dinner first. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye.